Give me a minute, man. Arriving at your initial point, make a 90 degree change of course, lose a thousand feet, like I said, and continue I evasive action until you start your bombing run. You. I was busy turning off all the fire alarms. Positive statements? Set off. The men in this room prefer it that way. They've yeah. learned that a bomber formation can't just take flak as it comes. They know that these briefing room statements are based on a scientific study. Yeah, go ahead and send me an invite. Yes, sir. Standing in back right now, Mr. Pratt. How is it? How is it? Good. Okay. Once you're done cooking, it's Patrick's job to dish it out to everybody. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Hurry up. You're running low on time. It's already 7. Uh, we're doing tier six. Oh, I can do whatever. Well, you're set at tier six, so. <laughs> yeah. I'm not a fan of tier six. Well, I. Do hold on. What, son? Do you know if we have any cough drops? No. You can just cough like a normal person. Go drink some water. Gargle some saline. Well. I need to do some more lightning. Lightning? Yeah. Well, right now I'm on a quest for British torpedo hits, and this is the best chance I have to get them. I think I need three or four more. I'll have to look and see. I need six more. Okay. Ah, here on. Then after that, <laughs> see, part three, week three of the Exeter's Last Stand mission has been nothing but a headache. Stage one, 100,000 hit points of damage to ships by fire. Number two is 20 torpedo hits, which normally wouldn't be a big deal, except it has to be done by UK destroyers or cruisers. Oh. Um, okay. uh, the fire one was destroyers, cruisers, or battleships, UK. Uh, stage three, hit ships... A thousand times with main battery. Tier 6 to 8 UK destroyers, cruisers, or battleships. And stage 4 is destroy 15 ships. UK destroyers, cruisers, or battleships. So, yeah. Hey, Mr. Daddy of 3. Swallowing the bleach. Who's got bleach to swallow? That's gross. That is kind of gross. I, I, I don't know where the bleach comment comes from. Please explain, Mr. Daddy of Three. Turn that music down. It's loud as hell. What is it? Oh, I, I run music over my streams. Oh, aren't you Mr. Fancy Pants? Fancier than you. Yeah, you are. I don't run your music. 
Yeah, get on my level scrub. <laughs> Ready? Yeah, go for it. So I did a case swap over the weekend. Did you know? I added another uh, 360 mil radio. Yeah? Yeah. Dig I uh, I had a different experience. Um, my brother's cat knocked my freaking computer off my desk and smashed up my Oculus Rift. Oh no! Yeah. That's horrible, dude. It is. I'm really displeased. <laughs> uh, I don't know if that would be the word I would use, but okay, we'll go with. It. Well, you're live, so I'm not going to say what word I'd actually use. <laughs> oh. Mr. Daddy of three, I was talking about uh, gurgling water, but uh, I gotta be honest with you, man. If he gurgles bleach, that's okay. I can always make a new one. That's that's my philosophy. If they do something stupid, that's okay. I can always make a new one. Food's ready. So is the Oculus completely confirmed? Uh, I haven't tried it since then because I went back to work uh, the very next day and I uh, haven't looked at it since I've been home now. I just got home. So... Um... But the USB 3 port is pretty jacked up. So, or the, the, the actual connector is pretty jacked up. So, I'm assuming it's not going to work properly. So, I'm going to try it. But either way, I'm going to send in a support ticket with Oculus and see if they'll fix it. Uh, whether I have to pay for it or not is irrelevant because I'm going to take it out on my brother's ass. There you go. Yeah, I just realized it was tier 10. That makes me unhappy. Tier 8. Tier 8 matchmaking, right? Yeah, it is kind of grody. I don't need one. Okay. Just save a couple from... Save a couple from me and your mother. I'm going to turn you down. You are really loud. Well, it's highly unusual. I usually have to strain to hear you guys. It's one or the other, man. For some reason. I don't know. Well, yeah. Oh, crap. And of course, I don't pay attention and I run into the one beach in my way. Oh, I have no worries about that. I've got almost as good a concealment as a Shima. 5.5 5 on the lightning. I'm just worried about that Minotaur. I don't know if he's a smoke mino or... Or a radar? Yeah. And because that Shima is over there smoking for him, I don't know. Well, if I was a bad man, he's probably a smoke Minotaur because he went behind the island. That doesn't really mean anything. He could have moved forward. He was just facing the island. He wasn't actually moving that quick. Hopefully, uh, one of my torpedoes will tag him. Well, yep. I, might, I don't know where to go, actually. Uh, well, I'm going to move up on C because I'm outgunned at B. Um, no, that's a Bismarck shooting. The Minotaur, I haven't actually seen fire yet.
Ixi. They got a wicked rage on for me over there too. I am I am having to be coy as hell right now, man. And our midway just wasted our torpedo or his torpedoes through my smoke. He can now spot me, but just barely. I'd rather fight their Grozovoy. May we please start eating? Well, we need another cap. Yeah, we do. Well, we need a cap at least. Well, we got a. Okay. Daddy, may we please start eating? Yeah, they're Damn it. Alright. It appears as though B is clear. I'm gonna. Peek in there and see what I can see. Evening, gentlemen. Hey, Ned. What's up, Ned? Not much. I'm loading to the game now. I'll join you after this. Wow, you're loud, too. I wonder where something, something must have changed in my settings that suddenly everybody's loud. It's the possibility. Oh, I just figured it out. Oh, no. I had my, my sound turned really, really high up on my speakers. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, I plug in my headset through the the input jack on or the output jack on my speakers. So, oh, hey, I found the Shima. Bismarck. Probably not. Yamato. Uh, Bismarck's got the sonar. Yeah, Ned's here. Mr. Daddy 03. I'm co streaming on my own channel, Ned, just FYI. Ah, cool, cool. Mr. Daddy 03 says, Ned. Probably. Oh, it's just a Bismarck. Alright, I can probably sneak up on the Bismarck now. Because the Shima went left. And if that Minotaur is behind this island, I can put some old shit twerps on him. Oh, there's a Shima. Hi, Shima. How are you? Oh, there's a Minotaur. <clears throat> oh, he smoked up then, huh? Yeah, he's shooting the hell out of me. I'm dead. At least I got some fish going at the Shima, and I might even hit him. I hit him. Ha 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 ha. Didn't do much damage, but I hit him. Where are you at? There you are. intermission screen so I can step away momentarily. I'm going to have to readjust all my sound parameters. Alright, say something you two. 
Check one, two. I actually say something, please, Jason. Can you hear me? Yeah, there we go. Okay. Sure. Alright, I'm gonna step away and supervise my children's hot dog eating. Good luck, sir. To another apartment three times in one year. Oof. <laughs> Jason was shaking. What's up? How are you? Hi. Well, I don't know how to respond to that, but shalom. Hey, Darman. How's it? Like a kidney stone, but you know, we'll live. How many kidney stones have you had to make that comparison? I have had zero, but I've watched my father go through four. Hmm, how closely? <laughs> Not that close. <clears throat> <clears throat> I watched my dad get put in the ER for it. Ah, uh, wimp. He should have just bit the bullet and drank a lot of water. Bite that bullet. Grande Adi. Okay. So what's uh, what's going on with you, uh, Diamond? What you doing gracing us with your presence this lovely uh, evening? I'm just here chilling. Coo, 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 coo. I was supposed to meet with Ned about uh, a deck. Ah. Oh. Yeah, good for you, Ned. Good for you. Blowing off the man. <laughs> hey, I to be fair, I think we both forgot. <laughs> this is true. And immediately, I just finished supper, so... Hey, so not... Wait, nope, that's a lie. I still have a piece of pizza left. Jeez, you eat more pizza than any person I know. Look, when the pizza place is literally a block away from my house, it's hard not to eat pizza. I have right? four pizza places. Literally, I have one at the end of my street going north, uh, a block and a half going south. And then if I go a block, uh, no, two blocks south and one block east, I get Woo! another pizza shop. Let me go ahead and point out how sad it is that you've memorized the locations of all your local pizza shops. I mean, don't you... Do you not? There's two in my entire county, mate. Well, that's just unfortunate. I mean, you do have to remember, Darman's in New York. Which yeah, sure which means he should be going for classy pizza. Or classy food in general, man. Go get you a Wellington, mate. Actually, there's uh, a place around the corner called Unagi. And Ooh, Unagi is one of my favorites. Pizza? Is it a chain? No, no, I'm talking about the food. Do you know what Unagi is? I do not. It's Unagi. Just the name of the place around the corner. Unagi is uh, eel. Ah. A good eel is hard to beat. It really is. What does it taste like? Um, okay, well, let's see. Uh, unlike most sushi or sashimi, eel is not served raw, okay? It is grilled. And you, you'll actually see that in a lot of anime. Uh, occasionally somebody will go by like a stand where a vendor has eel on a stick. Um, but eel is grilled, and it has a not very fishy flavor to it. Um, it's it's very moderate. It's very mellow. Um, but the meat is kind of grainy, and it's a little fatty like duck compared to, say, chicken. Um, and it is basted with a really, or glazed with a really, really tasty sweet soy sauce. Eel sauce is amazing. Absolutely amazing. That sounds pretty good, actually. I strongly encourage you. Uh, one of my favorite um, one of my favorite meals is called unagi don, 
uh, which is short for unagi donburi, which is basically a bed of, um, or a layer of unagi strips uh, spread over a bowl of rice, a uh, decent sticky sushi rice, which has just the appropriate amount of vinegar in it. It's freaking delicious, man. It is the meal, it is the meal that has made me want to open up a ninja sushi franchise for literally years. As soon as I have the capital, I plan on opening one up in Chattanooga. It's the best sushi chain ever. That sounds pretty awesome, man. It is, it is. Anyway. I would, if you did that, I would definitely take a trip down. Well, you're going to have to come down anyway if we're going to go see the Alabama. Oh, heck yeah. When's that happening? Uh, I still don't have a steady date yet, but with the way things are looking financially for me, it's probably not going to be until August. I can save for that. Cool. That would be a good idea. Because uh, as it is right now, I'm having to... Well, my, my fiscal troubles are not your uh, polite conversation, so... Anyway, so Unagi, the restaurant. I assume it's Japanese. It's a Japanese place ran by a bunch of Chinese people. That's not that's that's that, that's not unusual. I found it I found it funny when my favorite Chinese place in Monterey, California, was run by Mexicans and owned by a Swede. <laughs> that's awesome. That is awesome. Best Chinese places in America, the most authentic Chinese places in America are these nasty, crappy little hole-in-the-wall places that you'll find in, like, San Francisco, Chinatown. And you, you, you feel like you're in some old grandma's, you know, house for, like, Thanksgiving because you'll sit on, like, plastic lawn chairs in front of, like, folding card tables with those disgusting plastic check-marked uh, tablecloths. And you'll have the... Are you trying to talk? Would you like to talk? Remember, you're dealing with the strongest personality in Crossforge, man. You're right. I am. I am simply biting. Go for it, man. Go for it. What do you want, son? I tried tuna for the first time. Tuna... One moment. Tuna sushi. Okay. I was... Mildly off put at first because I expected more flavor, but no, it is just okay. Ice, seaweed wrap and tuna. Well, okay. Yeah, uh, I, for, I, for, I, first I question. Know. First question. Sure. Was it regular ahi? Was it pink? Uh, like a, a, was a solid, almost neon pink, or yeah, kind of I a dark, deep pink? I believe it was supposed to be raw albacore. Okay, uh, so it was regular it was ahi. Pinky. It was regular ahi. Okay, what you want is maguro. Now, ahi, don't get me wrong, ahi tuna is my favorite starter sushi for anybody who I take to a sushi restaurant because it does not have an overpowering fishy flavor and it can actually be done very, very well in various different ways. Spicy tuna is, is it's amazing if it's done right. But maguro, yes, a good spicy tuna recipe, and I say good because there are a lot of really bad ones too. A, yeah, 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 a good spicy tuna is just the right amount of heat and spice it's it's flavor spice not like super hot spice right and it, it just it's amazing but maguro is also referred to as fatty tuna now fatty tuna has more of a marbled look like when you're looking at a slab of ahi tuna you'll see um the 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 almost plastic or almost jello kind of look of the pink f flesh right there's not really much lining in between the sections of, of muscle Maguro has thin layers of fat between each little section of the muscle, and it adds a whole lot of flavor to it, and it melts in your mouth, and it's just amazing. That's okay. kind of how this was. Like, it wasn't... It, it, it tasted like it was super fatty. Okay. Like, I know, I know tuna is... tends to be a little bit fattier in general just because that's the fish. Right, right. But... Um, but it was really good. They, uh, I just was off put by how basic it was putting it in my mouth, and then it was a texture thing, right? Mm -hmm. I've never had raw fish. In my mouth before. Are you serious? 
Oh, that's right, because I was going to take everybody out to sushi and, and Japanese, and Patrick complained that he didn't like Asian food when y'all came down. That's right, you just got, uh, we got bento boxes. Hey, oh, it's good sushi, man. Oh. What, son? It's five hot dogs. That stuff is amazing. Okay. Good sushi? Mm hmm. Good sushi is great, bad sushi is terrible. That's just very true. Where did you uh, get your sushi at there, Diamond? Where did you get? Oh, okay. This is all part of the same story. Well, I, I figured it was just related, not necessarily yeah. same, because you did not specifically say it was at unagi. So, uh, did you actually no, try any unagi? No. Okay. Uh, I'm sure it's available. Ne well, if it's not, then I'd be surprised. Though, to be fair, I went to a sushi place in Indianapolis, I think, um, that was named after pufferfish, but they did not sell pufferfish. And it made I me mean, sad. That requires a very specific hard to get license, though. Yes, and it's illegal in the states anyway. Ah, well, there you go. Well, considering that roughly one in four people suffers the effects of the toxin, whether it's prepared properly or not. Yeah, no, that's too high. No. Uh uh. Uh, touch it. <laughs> But next time you're there, you are hereby uh, ordered to get some unagi and try it, and then I report will, back. I will find a friend to split it with me. But uh, yeah. It, well, it's I, it. You're, you're complaining about lack of flavor with the ahi. No, 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 no. I'm getting there. I'm getting okay, there. Okay. 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 I'm listening. So my friend, who has been studying Japanese culture for about seven years, uh, was there with me, and said, um, "Well." The Japanese like to just spice their things and have different dips for their sushi. That's why you have uh, your soy here, and then uh, there's also pickled ginger. Mm, that's um, not for spice. Wasabi. What's it for then? You, yes, you take a slice uh, and you suck on it between each piece. Uh, see, I was just putting it on the pieces. Oh, uh, see, that ruins it. That's that's a that's a flavor destroyer. I liked it. Ugh, you're gross. I'm also a crow. What do you want? <laughs> <laughs> really? What, what else? What else did you expect, Jimmy? I don't know. Maybe some class. I'll point you again to the crow. <laughs> Heil Wiener Schnitzel. I'm getting wrecked. I'm done. Okay, literally hit me. It's still getting you. It is. Two hours later. This uh, harkens back to a conversation you were not privy to, Jason. Indeed. <laughs> um. Yeah, if you if you want if you want Asian food discussion and recommendations, talk to me first. I oh so the other thing I had which blew my mind: hmm. pineapple fried rice. That's a fusion dish. You're not going to find that in actual Japan. I I'm aware. It was labeled in the fusion section, <laughs> and uh, I I I kept seeing it there, and I'm like, you know. You know what? Melissa's not here to make fun of me because reasons, so I'm gonna get this today. Oh, I have never had such a dessert type fried rice that was also dinner. You should have my wife's uh, sugar rice. That's one of the. It is, it is. It's like the only thing that her entire family has ever created that was any good. Food wise. So this pineapple fried rice is, has pineapple, of course. It's got your eggs, your assorted of vegetables, but it also has raisins in there. Oh. And it's all cooked down, and like it's the, the pineapple and the raisins are cooked together. So like the raisins will rehydrate, and have like the tinge of the pineapple juice, but it's not like super acidic and full of heartburn. Okay, see, I can see them using raisins uh, as a substitute for, like, uh, pickled plum. Uh, or some of the Japanese plums that are out there, because they have similar consistencies and flavors. 
but pineapple is new to me as far as Japanese cuisine go. I've, I've had it in uh, Thai, I've had it in Korean, I've had it in Vietnamese, never had it in Japanese. Yeah, it was not terrible. It was really good. So now I know whenever I'm craving dessert and dinner, that's what I'm getting. Yeah. That's, that's, you know, it's always good to find something you like. And now me, what baby? Yes, I know it's a cute little kitty cat that looks like a rat. It's okay. Baby, baby, are you done eating? Get in the bath, please. Yeah, they, I shared a picture like yesterday or the day before. Oh, I missed that. But, um, so when it comes to like Japanese food and Chinese food, I am largely a purist, right? I like the simple meat and grain. Oh crap, I just got snuck up on by that Cossack. Um, but every once in a while I will come across like a specialty sushi that for some reason or another I end up liking. Which is super rare because I don't really like the fancy crap. And the fancy crap usually comes from American sushi chefs. And, uh, well, they have more creativity and less tradition. Uh -huh. But did I ever tell you that I actually very nearly became a sushi chef? It wouldn't surprise me. Your repertoire goes from A to Z. Like, you, it would not shock me if you told me you did a two-week stint working in a nuclear arms plant. Well, I mean, I did work in a nuclear plant, but not in an arms plant. But that's another story. A to Z. <laughs> I, um, as I have previously mentioned, I like to become a journeyman in just about everything so that I always have experience in something so I can always find work, you know? Jack of all trades. Yeah. Eh, I'm not really a master of any, honestly. I, I usually don't stick around long enough to be a master of anything. But, um, no, when I was, uh, my first job... What was that? Stuck in drugs for a while. Nah, well, I mean, that's because I own the business, and I don't want to stop while I'm this close to making it. Of course. But, um, what do you want now, son? Can I research my... The, about the Aztecs on the Didn't you do that several days ago? Yes, sir, but I'm still needing some more information. You have what, ten minutes. <laughs> That's what he was looking at. Um, so before I joined the Navy, I was actually offered um, an apprenticeship at uh, Ichiban Sushi in Gainesville, Florida. Um, with the promise of inheriting the chef's role at Sawamura, my favorite Japanese place in Gainesville, Florida. I turned it down because I wanted to leave Gainesville and I wanted to join the Navy and I wanted to become a linguist, like specifically. And uh, when I went back to Gainesville, the owner of Sawamura uh, offered to sell me the restaurant. Oh, wow. Yeah, I didn't have the money he was asking for and now it's falling in ruins and it makes me so sad because I've been going there for many 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 years it was it was well it was it was the owner of that restaurant who made me love Asia that made me love Japan that made me love food and you know half the time I went in there if he was there you know I would never even have to pay for the food because he was always just so pleased at how excited I got when he brought me something he just made up just to see if it worked and he would do that and so were the guys over at Ichiban and you know chefs love when when their guests really appreciate what they do, right? And if you show enthusiasm and excitement over over something that is legitimately good, it it really reinforces them and their life choices, right? And since then, I've always had the dream to open my own restaurant. Not necessarily Japanese, because I don't feel I'm enough of a... Um... Hey, let me pitch to you an idea. Okay, and I'll tell you I probably already had it. 
I'm sure you have, but Asian Breakfast House. Asian Breakfast House. Asian in general, or any specific type of Asian? Asian in general. So, literally, this isn't even my idea, right? Mm -hmm. My younger brother, Jeremiah, the one who went out to Disney for his internship, mm -hmm. uh, his whole thing is he wants to open a restaurant. Okay. It's like an Asian fusion breakfast house. So, like, let me hook you up with my brother, because he's incredible. International also, House of Pancakes. <laughs> I mean... Who <laughs> that already said it out me. Did he? Oh, yeah. Hmm. Um, I'm not a big fan of breakfast foods, and if I were going to do Japanese, it would be a ramen house or a, a with a very small sushi bar that only did traditional like basic sushi because I have a lot of um, personal preference towards the classic basics right um, but I there are so few good ramen houses in the states but no that Hmm. Uh, I, I don't think I've ever ha had bad ramen. Uh, like, take me to where you're going and I will tell you how bad it is. I'm dead here. There you so are. The next time, the next time you run through uh, Wichita, I don't know uh, what that is, Jim. Yokohama. Yokohama ramen. Um, nice kill, Ned. That was me. Yeah, I know. I said nice killer. Oh, I thought I, I remember. I'm not going to say Ned. Ned's been sunk for a while now. What? I'm getting really bad frame drops. I don't know why. Uh, I don't know. Hey, hey Ned, have you been kicked off yet? No, not yet, which is unusual. That's just a PCIe riser card. <laughs> um, that I'm going back to port. Okay. Um, so, if I come up to uh, New York, Albany. yeah, if I come up to New York, you're going to have to take me I to got Unagi. Two to take you. Okay. Yeah. Well, I mean, you need to understand something. If I go on a spree, I'm liable to spend two or $300 at a Japanese restaurant. Oh, I'm sure. Easily. And that's just on me. Bones, that's a lot of food. No, it's not really. When I'm when I'm on the hunt, right? I'm not trying to fill myself. I'm trying to test everything, right? So I may or may not eat an entire dish, but it's mostly just testing everything. I am dude, I am really very, very particular about my Asian food, I'm trying to tell you. Alright, huh? Somebody pick a tier between six and eight. Let's see, what can I do at 7 that has torpedoes that's British? Oh, I could bring out my Nelson. Mm. I have about 2,000 cards left to sort through. All right. No, I lied. This my is a 15,000 count box. BG. I have 10,000. Yeah. Hmm. But yeah, no, I think you would get along great with your brother Jeremiah. I doubt it. He, I mean, you'd get along with him just as famously as you do with me. Hmm. Remember, you didn't like me when you met me, eh? Initially, but <laughs> you've also changed quite a bit since then. No, I really haven't. Not much. I, I think you underestimate yourself, sir. Eh. Okay, detail the ways in which I have changed. Uh, your beard is more pronounced. Okay, that doesn't count. <laughs> you have a...
naval hat. I've always had naval hats. What's that got to do with anything? I've got a collection of about 13 different <laughs> navy hats over here. You uh, really appreciate Japanese food. That hasn't changed in the last 30 years. He's gotten patient. I've oh, never... Yeah, I, I, my, 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 my patience level has not changed much. I, uh, I can be patient about certain things and not patient about others. It's, it's situational. Hey you, what are you doing? Nothing. I'm about to lose my patience with you, boy. <laughs> oh jeez. One, two, three, four, Come here. five, six, Come here. seven, Come here. eight, nine. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, I'm gonna punch you. Come here. Come here. Punch! <laughs> Give me my backpack, would you? What Thank you. That? It's called Souls Attendant. Whenever another creature enters the battlefield, you may gain one life. It's just a one mana one one. It's Thank that's you. so good. <laughs> Alright. You better get to work on picking up that room, son. You have two days before I throw everything you own away. Yes, sir. Two days. Oh, hey, here's another $3 card. Other creatures you control with better get plus two health. I can't help but notice that uh, you're not listing anything, so I think it's your fibbing. I said your patience. Thought you got distracted and quit. No. Here we go. I got distracted and you quit. But I was still listening to you. You and your $2 cards and your $3 cards and you're not finishing your list. The ways that Bones has changed. Yeah. I got myself into a question. Where's Bones has changed? Where are you going? Out. What do you mean, out? <laughs> Where she, is out? She's going to Unagi. <laughs> she better not. <laughs> I intentionally did not go to Anagi today, because I had it over the weekend. Better not go get ramen or something. Tell her to bring you back some Unagi. Not not just the random stuff from yeah. the store, some actual Unagi. Put your Unagi foot down, man. No. Uh, go I just give me some right with the gang. No, Jason's streaming. Yeah, it's not Wednesday, my dude. <laughs> <laughs> <coughs> I love you, bye! Bring me back some Unagi! Yeah, she's going to the, I know where she's going. She's going to uh, the bar for uh, trivia. Ah. Yes, because I drive her to drink. List. List, list. The Z23 is I dragging ass. I concentrate more than two seconds. I don't know, I really do feel like the patience is the big thing. Really? Uh, you've learned to pull your punches a little bit more. Shut up, Darman. Where are you going, Mr. Bones, in that Miji? I'm just following the Z23 that's going like a quarter speed. Uh, well, I'm, I'm driving like a drunken British guy. I can tell. Um, I'm, I'm puttering along in my Nelson as fast as it'll go, so... <laughs> I would like some uh, supporting evidence there, Josh. The amount of patience and long-suffering you've had with peaches. My patience with peaches has always been somewhat short. It is still somewhat short. To a degree but you dealt with him for a while. Well, see, here, here's the thing. I actually like him. There's no reason not to deal with him. I just think he needs to chill the hell out. That has always been the thing. It takes everything too seriously. Uh, oh, I thought you were right, talking well, about me. My perception is that you've anything. grown, though you may not see it. I think that's the takeaway here at this point. Hmm. Kill the lightning. Kill it with fire? No, I'm killing it with bullets. I'm, I'm killing it with flame and love. Oh, he's stuck on a rock. Ooh. This is a weird card. 
That's what your mom said when she had you. <laughs> I love that what the sigh. Fuck is this card? Living weapon? Oh, I know that one. I'm gonna go up and sonar the guy. I've already got my sonar up. Don't waste yours. Well, I'm moving in on this. Oh, I'm detected, so he's pushed out. Uh huh. Now, uh, let me see if I can punish this New Orleans with AP. You do that. Get him, Ed. Get him. Get him. Show him what for. Get him. Uh, we got a smoke cloud over here, straight ahead. <laughs> That's probably the. I don't know. Okay, well it's. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't know. Maybe that's the Atlanta. No, Atlanta didn't have smoke. That's that would be just a, a whole fat stack of artifact. Um. Oh, I just got set it out all the nothing. Well, thanks for leaving me wide open like that. <laughs> oh wait, I have smoke too. Ha! Ah, I forgot that. No shooting me. Okay. I'm detected over here. Hit him, hit him, hit him. Right in the middle, right in the middle. Come on. Oh. But. Come on, Citadels, please. Ah, oh, didn't even hit him. I'm, a, I'm having a bad aim day. I couldn't hit the broad side of a New Orleans if it was right in front of me. I want a good bibimbap. I haven't had a good bibimbap in a long time. Let's go. It's a Korean dish. I'm coming, but I'm slow. Yes, I'm aware there are torpedoes astern. Uh, hey, Ned, did you know that there were torpedoes astern? Uh, he dodged them pretty well, it appears. Uh, time to print myself a new ship. Well, yeah, you've got super heals, so... Well, that's what I'm... Trying to do right now. How did we get turned away from this flank so easily? Good question, I don't know. Jeez, I'm not hitting anything, and when I do, it's not doing any damage. Ooh, I incapacitated a gun on the Duke of York. That's good. Finally! Nelson's over there trying to shoot me and stuff. What a jerk. Oh, okay, so that's spell bombs. Yeah, I guess it's good. 
What the crap? That was a perfect aim. Friggin' destroyed. Because you know, it's because you're not running 100 for four hertz at 4K. It did make a bench. All right. Have any laundry that you need washed? Yes, son. I have tons of laundry that needs to be washed, but it's not going to get done uh, tonight. Trying to come up from behind us. I'm trying to pay attention to this Akatsuki right now. The Sasuke. A Sasuke. Akatsuki. Oh, is that who Sasuke was with? Briefly. And then he ended up helping kill them off. Move, Ned. I'm running as fast as I can, okay? <laughs> Which with the Nelson is not very fast. Um, He's got the biggest chin in the game. Just like Baymax. Oh, no. I am not fast. I'm not worried about it. it's the right flank I'm worried about. Or, you know what I mean. Ha! Got the Atlanta. Yeah! Get him, buddy. <sighs> no, Helena, you stop that. Bad <laughs> cruiser. Put that where it came from, or so help me. Don't, don't, don't. <sighs> Bad cruiser. Stop. I'm getting shot up by a freaking something. So I'm having to run. Come on. Come on. Come on. Stop burning, you turd. Oh, hey, look. Island to my advantage. There's the nearest island for me to get screwed on. Man, that Helena ran, like, just fast enough. Oh, y'all stop yeah, shooting at me. Early. Just stop shooting at me. Massachusetts and Nelson both want me pretty bad. Good kill, Cossack. Thank goodness for rocks. Yep. <sighs> Alright, just use my super heal. Seven non penetration. Oof. Watch out. Oh, I'm dead. You are. You are deader than hell. Cossack or the Akatsuki, I'm not sure. Browse the Cossack. Nope, nope, nope. No shooting me. Damn, 
Okay, who keeps spotting me? You keep spotting me. Freaking... No, it's the lightning. Uh, okay. Oh, there's a Cossack. Watch out for that lightning. I see well, it. Well, we're basically just doing a... Ooh, Ooh nice. my secondary's got him. Good. This is basically just a delaying tactic until our team can cap. Well, killing that lightning saves me because he's the one that's been spotting me this whole damn time for the enemy to spot yeah. me. Daddy? What, sweetie? I have a rash around here. Okay. And it hurts badly. Well, stop doing that. Come on, guns. Turn. Turn. Ah, gotcha. Thank you. Well, oh, no! Of course I disconnect right then. Nah, uh, we win. Nah, that's alright. We got the win. You <laughs> 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 disconnect a great time. It did. It did. Ah. Fantastic. Uh, hey, look at that. Look at that. My best game in the Nelson so far. Cruiser and a uh, Dreadnought and a Cruiser. I love that. Well done, John. Well done. And I got a close quarters expert in a Nelson of all things. Well, I mean, I got one recently too, so. Nelson, I'm starting to actually really enjoy. Um, because of the Exeter missions, I've been having to do a lot of British stuff and a lot of fire stuff. So, I've been playing a lot of Nelson and Hood. Yeah, Nelson's good. And Vanguard. Guns at tier oh! Oh, I just read the worst burn. Oh. Eh? What's that? So, so uh, a friend sends a meme to a friend about uh, Clifford launching a cat out of a tree. Uh, I like Mamie. You like Mamie? It's great. I like Mamie. The friend replies back, Why was he so big? Did they ever give a backstory to that? Yes, he was a little guy. But Emily Elizabeth loved him so much he turned into a big boy. Your doggo is so small. What does that say about you? You're small. What does that say about your parents? <laughs> That's horrible. <laughs> I get it. I get it. Yikes. That's that's harsh. That's harsh. Yikes. That's beautiful, but harsh. That's beautiful. Beautiful. That is beautiful. I'm going to step away for just a tick, gentlemen. Just a tick? Maybe oh, maybe like, maybe, like, maybe two like ticks. Well, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> Fair. I'm busy trying to figure out what the hell is going on with my thing here, so. Alrighty then. Yeah. Well, do we take a break or do we go into the next one? Show me your ship collection. Let's see, one second. Yeah, I'll be right back. Alright. Well, uh, these are grouped by nation, so I've got all the anime ships, and then... If we scroll over to the right, I'm kind of working on the Japanese stuff. So I've got the tier 9 is hoping to move on up to Yamato eventually here, but I just kind of started grinding the Azuma. Huh. That was the a Azuma paper was ship. not nearly as bad a ship as it used to be. No, actually, it's very scary now with its accuracy. It's extremely accurate. This is one of my favorites here, the Otago. I've had this thing forever. It's one of my first premium. Very nice. Yep. It's an HE monster. Then on the American side, starting with the text. This one's alright. But my absolute favorite, Massachusetts. This thing is 
amazing. Which the Massachusetts is on sale right now, and I'm seriously considered pulling the trigger on it. Huh? It's a fantastic ship, but I've got a 19 point command. And see, the, that's the thing. The Massachusetts doesn't get really great till you get IFHE. Yeah. What's IFHE? Uh, inertial fuse for high explosive shells. It gives you greater armor penetration on your high explosive shells. That's shell. a mouthful. Well, that's why everyone calls it IFHE. Uh, basically, it increases the... It increases the armor penetration for high explosive shells by 30% if they're a caliber lower than 139 millimeters. Pretty, pretty nasty, especially on secondary battles or light cruisers. Yeah, because Massachusetts secondary guns are 127 millimeters, so it reduces your chance of setting a fire significantly, but it means that your guns actually do damage against high-tier battleships. Gotcha. Huh. This is the Tier 10 U.S. cruiser. The this thing is a nightmare to go up against. It's got insanely fast reload and then a high caliber for uh, for a cruiser, and its AP is nasty. Yeah, it has the uh, it has the improved firing angles for American AP shells, uh, 203 yep. millimeter guns, and because it's an auto loader, it means you can fire those guns every five and a half seconds. And, uh... That sounds like a lot it of damage. fires a heavy shell, so it, it's got improved penetration angles, so... This, the AP in this thing will pen it. Nice. And then here's the Russians. This is one of my first tier 10s right here. I'm a huge fan of this ship. Okay, you turns. I have returned. Oh, did. Congratulations. Ah, the Khabarovsk is uh, one of my favorites. The light cruiser that the Russian game company calls a destroyer. I wonder if they've done the um, the buffs to the terrible yet. I don't think they have, but they may have. I don't know. German. Got the Bismarck. Got the 210 DD, the Z52. I love my Z52. Yeah, I love it too, man. Especially after I buff the guns. I prefer the torpedo buffs myself. Why not? But I'm a fish uh, guy, so. Yep. 210 battleship, the grocer curfew. Then we've got Brits. So Belfast is way overpowered at tier seven. I disagree, but whatever. Not near as overpowered as it used to be, ever since they made the smoke fire changes. Yeah. Well, that hurt a lot more than just the uh, Belfast. That really, really, really hurt the Bliskovica. Which, by the way, I got the uh, camo for. The new camo. Oh, congrats. I'm sorry I didn't get to it. Isn't it? And like British cruiser, the Minotaur. This thing's insane. It's something. What the heck is this card? It is a six mana defender that has both planes cycling and island cycling. Oh. I, I you get. Two mana to go get a plane or an island when you discard it. I get the feeling that he's not actually paying attention to your ship no. collection. That's all. Well, I am listening. What tier you guys want to play? Uh, well, I still need... Let's go back to tier 8. I still need torpedo hits. I guess I can throw up. Let's see, tier 8. Well, I need to grind my Cleveland some more. I had a stretch of really good games in the Cleveland... Like last week or the week before. Yeah. yeah, I forgot how much fun that ship was. 
Yeah, it'll be significantly better for me once I can actually grab IFHE. Because that's, that's the thing that's wrecking me in every game is, is, particularly when I get up tier to tier 10, is my shells just do nothing. Yeah, you, that's an absolute necessity with the high tier uh, American Light Crew. I mean, I've considered just paying the doubloon so I can just go ahead and grab it, but... Yeah, you... I mean, you need the ability to pin 32 millimeters of... ...a tier 8. So... What juice you got in there, uh, Jason? Uh, it's a house blend. Caramel. What juice you got in there, uh, Jason? Uh, 12 milligrams of nicotine. Sheesh. Wow. Cutting. Well, I'm cutting back. I was at 18. He's cutting back? Yeah. From what? From 18. I started at 18. In a sub on tank. You are a mad lad, son. I mean, that probably tastes like a cigarette. Uh, it, it, it tastes like a cigarette because his freaking tongue is nothing but ash with that heat. I mean, I used to run 18 on the non sub on stuff. And even that was kind of harsh sometimes. Although, I did run 31, so that was a huge mistake. That. Well, was it salt nick or no no that is something i always recommend people stay the hell away from yeah, that is agree. incredibly bad for you um no this was back in the early days Ah, uh, Versigano 1. Okay, I don't know what the hell that means. I have no idea. Spanglish, maybe? Can't tell you, mate. My Spanish is not that good. I don't know any Spanish. I know gibberish. That's what. Uh, did you get your um, get your house sold? No, not yet. I've, I've been trying to call them this week, but I haven't gotten any messages in yet. But uh, they, they had me stalled for the longest time, as in they wouldn't even list it. So why? Now, well, they I don't know. They kept throwing up excuses, but now they say that I can. So I'm. Um, Trying to set up an appointment for. I really want to get it sold. Have you considered renting it out? I have, but I just don't want the headache. I just want to get it sold so I don't have to deal with the mortgage and stuff. Oh, so it's a short sale? Uh, yeah, I mean, if even if I have to take a slight. HE firing New Mexico. Fantastic. Let's see if I can sneak some torps up this Oigan's nose. What did you call him? Oigan. It's the Prince Oigan. Oh. What'd you think I said? I, I don't know what I heard. That's why I was trying to clarify. I was like, what did you say? I thought you said you were a kraut. <laughs> my father was a kraut. Yeah, well, my father was an accordion. Your father needed to be a better choice in instruments. 
was having a conversation with Andrew and Avi earlier. Ah! Uh, what I kill? Fubuki. <laughs> I didn't even see him. <laughs> nice. Oh, but he warned the freaking Oigan. Oh, I might still hit that Leon, though. Oh, no. No, no. They died. They, they sank. Okay. I did not expect to hit anything except the Oigan. And with maybe one. Ooh, somebody popped a radar. Where? We got, uh, oh, somebody in Bravo. Yeah. Time for me to use some radar on my own. Oh, hello, Cossack. Oh, who? No, you're not. Gonna go to bed earlier than I've been last week tonight. Ah oh, man, I just wasted my torpedoes on the freaking Oigan. Oh well. That's cool. I'll just shoot at this Leon for a bit. Maybe I'll put a fire on him. Yeah, I got a dude York and the Cossack in Bravo. And I'm having to run full tilt, so... Well, I'll flip around and see if I can put some fish on him. Oh, and there's the enemy Cleveland. Lovely! Oh, uh, let's find the set. They went center with no... Ah, oh, no. oh, I just got citadel Crap, crap, crap! Run! Run, run, run! I'm coming up to see if I can do anything. Hold on. I have no speed boost, so it's going to be a bit. <clears throat> Lightning, despite its name, is not particularly quick. If I can get a fire on this Duke of York, maybe. I'm going to go above. Ah, somebody just nailed the Cleveland again. Hey, you two. Learn to drive. I wish I knew how to walk. Ah, uh, damn. We just lost to Leander. I'm gonna go... Uh, don't aim at the Duke. Aim at the Cleveland. I'm about to take Duke out. Okay. Cleveland's out of my range at the moment. Virus and Threat Protection, Windows Defender Summary. Great time to pop up, you know. I'm coming in on your right there, Terpitz. So, cut left a little bit. Thank you. Oh, come on, Belfast. You guys gonna sandwich me now? Damn it. You are ruining everything. You turd muffin face turd muffin turd muffins mcgee ah y'all keep Killing things that I'm throwing torpedoes at. Wasting my fish. Oh well, I'm gonna go after the Cossack. This Cleveland has been going broadside for far too Yeah, there's no reason why he should still be alive. Oh, watch that Leander. I'm working on it. Nah, shells are so slow. Have you tried spinning? That's a good trick. Oh, hello there, Leander. Oh, Leander might take my tour. Ah, oh, damn it. Just too short. Hey. 
I love citadeling things in a destroyer. It makes me laugh. There's another ground spell. There's another dollar. Got him. Alright, I need help with this moss. I'm working on it. It's coming on him. And I'm getting radar by that Atlanta. I'm about to go down. Come on. Come on. Nail him with a torpedo. Ah! Y'all keep killing things I'm about to... Torpedo! <laughs> that Belfast is pissing me off. Why is he better at the game than you? Diamond, don't I'll touch me today. Now. Yes, sir. The way I'm feeling, I think I did forget my meds this morning. No, he, he kept getting in my way and kept killing the crap that I was about to kill. And it, like, you see my fish about to nail a guy. Stop shooting at him and move to something that's not being focused. Right. Exactly. I'm not sure why the Queen Elizabeth is all over. Alright, I think the mass is fleeing. You think your ass is fleeing? The mass. Oh, the Libric Moss. I think he went back over to D. <laughs> he probably, when he saw his entire flank getting just withered, just completely melted, it's probably what he did. Their guns on me. There he is. There he is. Get him, Belfast. Get him, Ned. Get him, Ned. Yeah. Get I'm him with that it. mad Cleveland. Yeah. Look at that. Shooting them Cleveland spitballs. I mean, that's about all they're good for. Hey, you. Who's in the bath? I just got out. Patrick, what are you doing on the couch when your brother just got out of the bath? Come on. You know the routine. Move your butt. Move your big fat butt. Move it faster. <laughs> Pudgy turdwad. That guy says proliferate on it. That is a shakaku. Not for long, it's not. <laughs> Evil <laughs> meatball. <laughs> I, you know, I love when I come across people that have names that make me chuckle. Evil meatball makes me chuckle. Shikaku makes me giggle. Well, there was a guy in, in Warframe I saw yesterday, and uh, his name was uh, Illegal Waifu. Illegal Waifu? <laughs> that made me chuckle, too. <clears throat> Why is that Shukaku not sunk yet? What the hell, guys? I just took 13,000 off of him. Yeah? Well, clearly that's not good enough. Can fire. It's a Shokaku, man. Throw AP at him. Oh, I'm doing. Oh, and there's the disconnect. Well, at least you're sandwiched between two rocks. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah, you take those torpedoes. Oh, those are ponders. <laughs> All right, time to ball on my. That's uh, a four dollar. Uh, A's getting taken by the. Uh, I don't know what. Well, Maybe.
Yamamoto. Who is Yamamoto? That would be the Jervis. You know, two of those kills that Belfast has were my kills. I'm very salty about that. Well, yeah, Magi has no chance in a brawl against the Terpits. It has no torpedoes. The Terpits does. It doesn't have the secondaries the torpedo does. But you are going to get yourself into that New Mexico's range if you're not careful. Oh, am I? Yeah, he just popped up about 15 kilometers away. See him? There he is. Wow, that whole volley did nothing to you. That Amagi's, that Amagi's got to be feeling like crap right now. <laughs> you got a gift. I am still talking to crazy people. That was the Dude, shortest trivia you ever. Take this? Where's my Unagi woman? Oh, he's upset that you didn't bring him eel. Unagi means eel, and we should... Her indignation. Oh, is that raisin bread? It's good now. You're gonna drop some fish on him? I'm. Oh, good hit. I am literally at the end of my sorting. Then... No, I am. <laughs> yeah, sure you are. Oh, come on. Take out the New Mexico. You got this. This dummy is broadside, full on. And he's firing HE at you. What a turd. What a turd. Okay, that dead guy needs to shut up. He's getting on my nerves. Yeah, I hate that when people do that. Let's see those fireballs just launching over by the Cleveland. And we got Implacable flying in with his rockets. I hope New Mexico forgets that Terpitz has torpedoes. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to try for the ram. But you're not going to let him because he's going to beach first. Because he's an idiot. Look at that. Look at that. Ooh, he got you. Bye bye, New Mexico. Ah, oh, dang. Wasted fish. Okay, you can take out Leon easy. Come on, get that, get that, get that, get that, get that cracking, get that cracking, get that cracking. You got it, you got it, you got it. Come on. Ah, beautiful. Ha <laughs> ha. Absolutely gorgeous, man. Absolutely gorgeous. That's why I love this ship. I should have just gone in for the kissy kissy. Yeah, you... 127,000 damage, dude. That was very well done. And that, you know, that Yamamoto guy was getting on my damn nerves, too. <laughs> I wasn't even paying attention. Yeah, well, I'm sitting here dead, so I had no choice. Hey, look at that. Ned, top five, man. Top four, even. Yeah. How about that? And where's that Jervis at? Where's he at? Number six. What a turd. No kills or nothing. What was he saying? Ah, uh, he was just trying to tell you what to do. Tell me what to do. He was talking shit about Ned. 
He was trying to tell me what? Yes. Whatever, dude. There's a reason I completely ignore chat 90% of the time. Well, when I'm dead, I have not much else to do. <laughs> right. <laughs> oh, that was a fun match. I can. <laughs> I have finally <coughs> looking through this entire collection for cards that are over a dollar and a pile of cards that are over 25 cents. Oh my eyes. Cool. I just finished a lot of missions and I don't know what they were. I s okay, let's see. I need to hit. Okay. Alright. Alright, pick a tier, gentlemen. I still need torpedo hits. I need like four more. Can't do tier nine. Has to be between six and eight. And besides, Ned only has up to tier eight. I'm working on tier nine, but I'm just not quite there yet. Well, with your experience with Cleveland, once you get the coal up, I think you'll do pretty well with the Salem. It's a significantly better ship than the Cleveland. Well, my thing is, I've heard very bad things about the Seattle. Seattle's not terrible. Pick a ship, gentlemen. That's a lot of damage, Jason. Jeez. 42,000 in secondaries, man. 409 hits. Yeah, I'm, I'm looking at your screen right now. Wow. Uh, insane, dude. It's pretty good, man. I haven't reached that high in damage yet, so... What are we doing? Just pick one between six and eight. I would prefer staying in eight because lightning is the best chance for me to hit with torpedoes. Here it is. See, I haven't even been checking my missions. What other ones I have to do? Shoot down 40 aircraft. 1.4 million credits. Oh, that one's easy enough. Damage I need another 1,110 florins in order to get the implacable. One second, let me respect real I'll probably get the implacable tomorrow. Like on the chat. On the what? Chat. It's slow. That's not bad. Let's see. Well, I mean, it's standard Russian cruiser. Yeah. I only need 80 more florins, and I can get the Hermes. Get it to quit it. Hermes is by far the worst tier four. Carrier. I know that's not saying much. I was gonna say, have you played the Langley lately? I have, I have. Because I do not have a very high opinion of the Langley. Tier 4 carrier is a garbage man. I've had some really, really good matches uh, in the midway. But I've been playing a whole lot of Kaga and Enterprise lately, and as soon as 8.2 drops, you damn sure better bet your bottom dollar that I'm going to have my Graf Zeppelin back. Did Darman leave? No. Just got very quiet.
Dynamo Ned in the Babalami. Yeah, go ahead. My wife thinks it's hilarious that I call people down there Babylamians. <laughs> Babylamians. All right, middle tier. Woo! I'm okay with this. Let's see. I gotta worry about the Atlanta, and that's about it. I'd rather have an Alabama than a Carolina. Now Darman is leaving. No, don't leave Darman. Hi Darman. We need our Darmanian dude. Come on. I like having our mascot. It's like having a, a cannibalistic bunny rabbit. I'm probably going to head towards B because we've got our Kitakaze going to C. All right, Borcha, but I'm I'm going to be heading between the islands. Of That's fine. I'm going to be dipping and dodging anyway. I don't plan on sitting. Sit down at the table with that son. Thank you. The is not bad on this thing. 10.4 Fires out to 17.3. Yeah, the Chappie's strength, a lot of the Soviet cruiser strengths is they have good medium to long range guns. Well, the shell velocity. So. The only Soviet cruiser I actually like is uh, the Kronstadt. Oh, I absolutely want to get the Moskva, like, bad. Uh, I'm not really interested in Moskva. I just can't stomach yeah. going through the, the Soviet line. Yeah, for me, the, the weaknesses of the line are the Chappie and the, um, the sh It's just, uh, it's just... Getting decent... tiny mistake and you're, you're... Getting decent in gunboats is more interesting to me because I wouldn't line, mind getting the Kaba. The Kaba's fun. The Kaba's fun. But now everyone high tier is knows how to deal with them, so they're not as strong as they used to. When that thing had ten kilometer torps, it was it was god tier, man. Okay, we've got probably the Loyang in here with me on the uh, southern edge of Bravo. Four meter radar. I say is that what? Oh, up there he is. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna move up and cut him off. Okay. Well, actually, hold on. All radar. You ready? Yep, go for it. Hello there, Mogami. Oh, that was my kill. You turd buckets. It doesn't matter, I'm about to die anyway. If you could keep spotting that Mogami for me. I can't, I'm dead. I was trying my damnedest to get out of the way, but... Oh, I'm screwed. I'm not having a great night in the lightning. Sorry, man. Eh, it's okay. Maybe I should stop trying so hard. 
Okay, well, I'm gonna step away while this continues so I can go put my children to bed. Hello there, Mogami. Hello there, Tosh Cans. Hey. Capturing Bean in Alabama. The wonders never cease. See him. Yep, I see them. I'm gonna take at least one of them. I got the Mogami.
marking on. Sigadel the Nagato. Ooh. Look at them torpedo beats. I just need six more seconds. Yep. Oh well. That was pretty good. I got two citadels. I sank the Mogami. I did 57k damage. That's cool. That's cool. Look at those slow ass turrets on the chappy. Yep. Tisk tisk. You'll be all right. Tashkent to your stern, 11.3 kilometers. If I had been able to get one more salvo off, I had him down to 2,000 health. Okay, guns are pointing here, so I gotta be. Ugh. 
No, I don't want Opera on my damn computer. No, I don't want the Facebook app on my damn computer. Just let him run. Important security message. Your computer has been locked Important up. Important security message. Your IP address was used without your knowledge or consent to visit websites that contain identity theft virus. Important security message. To unlock the computer, please call support immediately. Important security message. Please do not attempt to shut down or restart your computer. Doing that may lead to data loss and identity theft. The computer lock is aimed to stop illegal activity. Please call our support immediately. Important security message. Your com I hate those. Very annoying they are, yet. That they are. It's been a while since I've seen one of those pop up. Well, I'm going to go cafe. What are they doing? Miyoko, just... He trying to go no cap kill all. Probably. Charles Martel either flooded or burned to death. Yeah, he's dead. Well, that just leaves the Tashkent. Tash Kent is living on like borrowed time. Doesn't matter. We got the game. I'm just saying he had like half a freaking hit point left. <laughs> well, he was healing too, so. That was terrible for me. And yet I still wasn't in last place. Cool. I didn't think I had that great a match, but it just turned out. 
Oh, yeah. Love that modesty there. Oh, yeah, you know, I'm just in first place. It's okay. Potentially last match of the night. I'm cool. I'm okay with that. We're going on two hours now. Mm -hmm. So you got one more in you? Is that what you're saying? Yep. Okay. Well, let's do it then. What's here? Don't care. Your call. So I've got enough coal now to get both the Charleston and the Campbelltown. But I think I'm going to save up for the Akuma. Akuma just sounds better, man. Yeah, but I've already got two Tier 9 battle cruisers. Ah, I want the Alaska, honestly. It's alright, it's alright. I still prefer the Kronstadt. Yeah, well the Kronstadt was... Very well, I mean, if you're good with, you know, American heavy cruisers, you'll be fine with Alaska. But Kronstadt, it just, I don't know, it, it plays differently, a lot differently. And I have consistently better games with the Kronstadt than I do with the Atlanta. Uh, not Atlanta, Alaska. I have better games with the Kronstadt than I do in Atlanta, too, so, I mean... <laughs> right. Wait on you, Ned. I don't know. I just like the I just like the potential of brawling with battleships and then just getting like seven citadels in a volley. You're more likely to do that in a Kronstadt than you are in Alaska. The Alaska's armor is not suitable for brawling of any sort. I know, but if you can somehow get close. Yeah, you really can't. They they get deleted just as quickly as any other American cruiser does. Um, Kronstadt, it's much easier to bounce things. Is it? it is, at least in my experience. I don't know, maybe maybe I'm just not Alaskaing properly. I don't know. I, all I can say is I've got a hundred and eight thousand free XP. <laughs> so it's gonna. Yeah, it is, it is, uh... Well, the, uh, that's right, the, uh, the Akuma is actually going to be a free XP ship. It's the, um... Yukino, I think, or whatever it's called. Um... Not sure. What is it? It's the, um... Oh, you, I was trying to look at my tree. It's the tier 10 that's going to be coal. Oh, uh, okay. Because they're, they're moving away from uh, tech tree premiums. Oh, they also nixed the uh, Giulio Cesare nerf. Yeah, I know. I was glad to hear that, actually. Because that opens up the door for doing the same with other premiums. My uh, my assessment of what they said was basically, yeah, we're not going to mess with premiums except for things that are game-wide changes, right? So. Well, they said that with a whole lot more salt than was necessary. I honestly did not taste any salt in that statement. But maybe I'm, maybe I'm too, I don't know partial I don't know but I yeah I, I really didn't get any salt in it I just it, it seemed a little wordy 
Not necessarily salty. It wasn't necessarily what was said, it was how it was said to me that seemed slightly salty. Like, you all seemed like you all wanted balanced ships, but now you're saying that's not important to you. So, which is it? I didn't take it like that at all. I think either. I think the problem was is that they were getting too much of the vocal uh, vocal minority that was complaining about it. I hate this song. Just posted my uh, case swap there and. I went back to the open air case. What was wrong with the case you had? Uh, Mesh by C is a great, fantastic case. I love it, but it's too small. I had way too much hardware in it, so I wanted to potentially here uh, maybe get a hard drive, uh, you know, and just. Mm. Just for further expandability. Ned, do you remember that? Uh, do you remember that case I posted? That uh, kind of tall cube. That thing's huge. The striker case. No, no, no. Oh, well, that one. That one's huge too. But no, I'm talking about the big, tall, uh, rectangular one. It looks like a big box. Has the uh, I/O Thermaltake. on the on the top. Thermal tape oh, makes yeah. it. It's a something one. something 900. Oh, the Corsair 900D. I don't remember. I'll have to look on my Amazon account. I've got it on my wish list. Well, I've got a placeholder radiator in this thing for the time being, but eventually I'll uh, swap it out for something else. Hmm. Yugamon. Yeah, I see it. Wow, they're they're going far southwest. Well, I'm gonna hang around this bottom edge. Shatters on the Dookie Orc. <laughs> Every time you say that, I mean, it sounds like you're saying Dookie. <laughs> Dookie Perhaps Orc. I should enunciate better then. <laughs> I, I like the idea of a Dookie Orc. <laughs> that amuses me. Leave me alone. <laughs> sees me. Did we lose somebody already? Neptune. Come on, yep. Neptune. What the hell? Gotta be better than that, buddy. Hoping that Duke of York is not paying a whole lot of attention. Come on, I only need four hits. He's dead here. Oh, he's not. He will be if he takes one of my fish. Ah, oh, damn it! I'm gonna take a fish anyway.
Fish away. Okay, I got the Yugamo right here. See the Yugamo. Whoa, who just hit me? I don't know, sir. B's getting who's in I don't know, but I love this song. somebody with your fish yes well I guess I'm gonna be pink for a while You'll be all right. I'm going to go rush this Yugamo. I'm dead though. Really now. Dang it. And my torpedo's gonna miss. Lovely. What a crap. Oh, I might get him with one. Yeah, I got one. At least there's that one. Uh, Duke of York is flooding. He has not used DC. the fire when my flood was sinking him. Blah, 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 blah. Look at that. Jason's got the Confederate already. Look at that. Guy's over here being a star. I was wondering whose deep waters those were. I didn't realize you were the Erie in that. Yeah, I am. It's a good ship. That Colorado's got your number, though, if you're not careful. Yeah, I'm doing what I can, but... Time to get some fish in the water! I'm gonna follow those fish. I'm gonna laugh if you hit the Colorado though. This guy's straight lining it. He's probably just thinking, oh, I'm gonna shoot that guy. Completely forget that you have freaking Uber Torps. Be awesome if you got a fire on that Charles Martel and then these fish hit the guy and you got a freaking double kill. Yep. Oh, that. That guy is not paying any attention. He's about to take a couple. Ooh, the pink Jarvis. Boom. Colorado. Boom. Good fish. I'm trying to tell you. Get him. Look at that. Ah. <laughs> Good job. Staying angled and taking him out. Good job. Look at that. You cannot tell me Ned's not improving. 
Adrian might be a good ship for you, man. Might be. I, I... What the? What the heck is our? Dis yeah, I mean, it doesn't really matter what you do at this point. I don't know. Surprisingly, it's two kills. I'm not sure what he's been doing. I've been. I don't know. I, I'm all right. I mean, it was this was kind of an annoying game, but I had 149,000 damage and two kills. I'm gonna report this Jervis, man. Man, to have a game like that and it's gonna wind up a loss. Hey, man. Them's the breaks. <laughs> yeah, that's the way it happens, man. I mean, we're, we are dependent on our team, so... The team... You did a good job, though. Oh, well, all except for torpedoing our own Leon. That <laughs> <laughs> happened. Uh, go on to some co-op games. Get him. At least you can cat B. <laughs> yep, that's the plan. Oh, no, there's the disconnect. <laughs> Why? Uh, maybe I can get back in to get to B. Uh... You're, you are moving towards B, so... Uh, he's slowing down. Uh... Yeah... Well, that... Just before B. Well, and I mean, B. you could, you could pick up Solo Warrior. If you get back fast enough. <laughs> no, no, game over, we lose. No, you survived! Not, not the way the point... Ned! The only survivor. <laughs> the last man standing. Hey, I got complimented, but I got a warning for unsporting conduct. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we're top three, though. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. Not a bad showing. Not a bad showing. Ned, you probably ought to you ought to play uh, Irian a little more often, man. See if it uh, see if it's your your gig. You know, you're right. You're right. I really enjoy the ship. I find it to be um, fun to play. A lot more so to me than the Kutuzov. The only thing I think that would make it feel more comfortable to me is if it had a heal. Oh, that's right. It's a Kutuzov type. And... Same class. Same class. Okay. Alrighty, boys. Time for me to end. Yeah, I think I'm I'm done with the ships for a bit too. I'm gonna eat a cold hot dog and play some uh, Warframe until my pills kick in. There you go. Well, thanks, guys. <coughs> it, was, it was a lot of fun. Yes, sir. Good night, everybody. Thanks for Good coming night. out.